Look, it's sheer sexism in some case. A lot of people believe that women lack the intelligence, the talent, or even the emotional stability to perform many of the same jobs as men. Um, that women basically need a man to take care of them and manage the broader parts of their lives. And then that also they really don't have a broader role in society outside of rearing those children in the kitchen. And so, again, these are, they have real consequences here. It's not just sort of a moderate inconvenience, oh shucks, I can't go to law school because I have to have the baby. Um, but it's real discrimination that limits women's freedom and affects the outcome and potential of their lives. Just some examples. In 1960, a credit card company could refuse to give a woman a credit card simply because she was a woman. If you have a credit card in your pocket today, it was not always the case. <clears throat> women could not serve on juries in every state. Um, you could not get birth control in every state. A woman could be fired from her job for becoming pregnant. Um, women could not go to many Ivy League law schools. Yale and Princeton did not admit women until 1969. <clears throat> So consider the opportunities that all the men that go to those schools <clears throat> get, that women are just instantly blocked from, all those career paths, whatever that might be. It's not a meritocracy, it's not competitive, it's no women allowed, quite literally. <clears throat> um, women did not receive the same pay for the same work as men, of course. Um, in many states, woman, women by legal definition could not be raped by their spouses, and they also could not unilaterally divorce their husbands. That means that legally, many women did not have recourse for a bad or dangerous marriage. That they were a severe, and of course, they were at a severe financial disadvantage if they tried to leave the marriage and they couldn't so much as get a credit card or a job. So many people were simply trapped. And then, of course, the unsaid restrictions. Who gets into law school? Who gets to become a doctor? Who gets promoted? Just this general outright sexism that limited women's ability to rise in society in the same way as men.